Welcome back to Master Your Ash. I'm your host, Michael Prisdale, and today we're gonna to be taking a look at the New Air 250 count thermoelectric heating and cooling unit. This is the Smokers Club Edition that if you that you have most likely seen at other channels. New Air was kind enough to send this out for me to do an actual product review, but I figured that instead of just doing a regular old product review, we would not just do the product review, but also do a nice little humidor tour. So I've taken the liberty of filling this up with some of the newer sticks that have been sent into the channel by some of you and also some of the ones that I have procured on my own volition. I've been resting in here for the last two, two and a half weeks that I've had the unit. I just turned it on for the first time, so we're gonna get a chance to hear it, what it sounds like, plugged in, operating, running, so on and so forth. The combination of smoking cigars and drinking spirits. And I love the bar aspect, the cocktail aspect, the spirits aspect, along with all of the cigar aspects of this humidor. You'll see at the top, there is your standard control panel, a little bit uh, more exposure to sunlight, but if you have it inside like I do, you typically don't have to worry about that. Also, with this unit, there is heating and cooling available to you if you need such things. I personally do not plug in my humidors, my thermoelectric ones at least, I just leave them off. I find that you maintain humidity a little bit easier at higher temperatures, right? The higher the temperature, the easier it is to maintain humidity. So right now we're looking at 57 RH. There is a digital RH reader that is right here on the actual unit itself. And I took the liberty of actually throwing in one of my other ones that I have procured. And see, it's like, it's pretty much right there. 55, 52 is what they just dropped down to, but they were both reading 57. So this was just kind of like my way of checking the unit to make sure that we were getting a consistent reading on the RH. And I will say that that has been the biggest difference between this unit and this hydrometer that works, which is important. It's important to have a hydrometer that works, I feel. So I've taken the liberty of filling up this top shelf here with an assortment of sticks that we can run through. And this was Cigar Hound Dog a water pillow, pillow from Neptune, an Integra Boost, right? Humipack. These are upcoming reviews. We have a CAO Vision, a Neanderthal in the SD, the SQP, I believe, or SDP. Whichever size it was that I always mess up and then Skip has to come on here and correct me, that's the size that I bought. The Rocky Patel 20th Anniversary Edge. Right? I was a huge fan of the Edge when that was originally released, so I figured, why not? Fool's Errand, also known as the Stubborn Fool. Uh, warped Chinchale. The Crowned Heads Sfumato in C Major. Looking forward to trying that. I have not smoked one of those yet. The Dom Partron. And the Dom Partron by Lampert. This is the old label. I believe that the new one actually has Lampert written all over it. And then I have a test blend that has unfortunately been ravaged and is coming apart. And I have a Room 101 unbranded white label from PCA last year that Boofy threw at me for whatever reason. We'll find out. I'll ask him about it when TP comes around the corner here. So then in pack number two, this was a recent send in by our good buddy, Mr. Sean T. Thank you, Sean. He actually sent me another uh, honey and hand grenades to try out the, uh, the rapier, which you guys remember my review, wasn't exactly my favorite thing, but I will try it again. The Viaje Holiday Blend. He's another Viaje fan like myself, so he always tries to send me Viajes that he thinks that I would like. Good old Saint Nick, right? Really fun little packaging there. La Flor Dominicana Lanox, which we have a review of. We have a review where we did a pairing in the studio of the Lanox and the La Bocada. The only one that I have not smoked so far has been the Solus that just came out. But I think that Hound Dog reviewed it, said that it was pretty solid. I'm gonna probably hold off, wait a couple of months, let it, let it mellow out a bit. Originally in here, this was the Tatuaje Hor or the Tatuaje W, um, was one of the ones that I've already taken out and I've smoked. So he sent me the 2020 Toast Across America, kind of like a Tatuaje lover, lover pack. The Tuxtla, the Avion, because he said that I enjoyed it, so he wanted me to have it. 
Another one that he said that I enjoyed that he wanted me to try was the Davidoff Chef's Edition. This was kind of overpriced in the one that I smoked, so I'm interested to give it another shot. Out of some of the more recent Davidoffs that I've smoked, Punch Egg Roll, right? Always better than the Fu Manchu. <laughs> this is the Robania, I believe, right? The HR or the Hirochi, the HR from Esteli. Uh, Rockefeller Stick, this is the Rockefeller Habano in Toro. Very cool. And a Fausto Lancero. This looks like it's going to be intense. And for those of you that know Cigar Hound Dog, you know that he is not the biggest fan of Lanceros, much less very, very strong Lanceros. Thanks to him for that. Singular Torin. I don't know if I've ever smoked one of these. I don't think so. Small Aladino. I haven't actually smoked any of the Aladinos. He sent me one earlier in the year that I still haven't smoked. And then a Tatuaje Little Boris, which from one of the original exclusives, I believe, that we can run through real quick. So we have another Warp Chinchale. This was one of my mo more recent purchases, I believe. I got a Flathead 660. You know, I always get them. An Animoy by La Galera. This is the Nicotina, which I, I might actually smoke this. I actually smoke this next. <laughs> um, the Freud Super, Super Ego. Looking forward to this guy. Might actually smoke this one next too. Not sure. Monte Cristo Platinum Series, because Monte Cristo, why not? A Fuente Fuente 858 and the Futuro in code, or in code 109, I believe it is. Another warped additions that I wanted to try. And then there's a chinchale in here as well. So I always, I always gotta keep my chinchales on hand. You know, I, I don't just, you know, smoke on camera. So I keep those as like my personal stash if I'm out with some friends. Uh, one that Cigar Hound Dog did send me, Fuente Rare Pink. And this is in the kind of like Queen of Hearts. They're kind of like work of art style. The Sancho Panza Double Maduro. Haven't heard great things about the Sancho Panza, but I got one in the original and one in the Double Maduro because it's boofy and whatever boofy does, I, I usually like to try out. The Brick House Connecticut, and I believe that this is in a Lonsdale. A Room 101 Ichiban. Diesel's Whiskey Row Sherry, right? Because I have sherries, I like pairing sherries. This is an Insidious. This is the Connecticut that we still have not smoked yet. Brickhouse Maduro, just to make sure that we have all of them. Our Regis or Chant Selection Limitada 2018. I figured that I would, you know, send some of these out to the fellers. And then we have from Saka, little Muestra de Saka right here. This is the Bewitch. And then for those of you out there that are my father's cigar fans, the Flor de Atelis. This right here is the Toro celebrating the 10th anniversary of that brand. So there's the 2022 Flor de. Beautiful. This is a new addition, the Stillwell Holiday 2022. Looking forward to this guy. Got our Villigers that just got sent out from the brand new factory in Nicaragua. Thank you, Villiger. Appreciate you guys always sending out stuff. Under Crown 10, right? Just in case, personal stash. The David in Havana CT. And this is, of course, Tabernacle. The Bandolero, and this is the Series C because I heard good things about Bandolero. So this is a new one that's, that's right there on the deck. Our Hot 10. Phosphorus, and I believe that this is the 54? No, 55. Five and a quarter by 55. I think that this was sent out by Cigar Hound Dog, if I'm not mistaken. The La Palina Illumination. Some would say that this is like the Goldie, minus the uh, Medio Tiempo. This is the Family Reserve by Lampert. I believe this was also sent by Hound Dog. Got a little Craft 2022 from last year from Roma Craft. Avion 13. The original Broadleaf. At Wahe Black Label, this is Corona Gorda because it's my favorite black label. 
as far as size goes. Got a little Naked Boofy from a sampler pack. And then from DJ, our Alec Bradley Texas Lancero that we still have to smoke on a live stream. Los Tratos, right? I actually need to do a review on these. Same thing with uh, Casa Cuba from Fuente. Very under-recognized brand. Got our Rocky Patel Special Edition Sun Grown, Special Reserve Sun Grown. Illusion Privé Toast Across America in the big boy. Room 101, this is the payback. Intergalactic, this was also sent by Cigar Hound Dog from Black Work Studio. Don't believe that he said that he enjoyed that. I have to double check with him. But he sent it to me to review. This was the Tetuaje Pumpkin. So this was from the, uh, for those of you out there that bought the, that bought the advent calendar. That pumpkin is from the 2021 advent calendar. Cause I believe there was a pumpkin in both 2021 and 2022. One of our room 101 farces. This is the original Habano. Love that cigar. Lugion Epernay. But a lot of them are just ones that I like to smoke. Tatuaje the Drac from this past release, the Redux. Another illumination and I have it, I bought basically the sampler pack so I can get it in all the different sizes to try out. And then I bought two. So I wanted to try out all the sizes and then actually do one on the channel that I felt as though was the size that most encompassed what the brand's identity was to me, what the blend's identity was. Don Patron, right, Lampert again. La Hacienda, right, a little, little companion, a little warped. Alec Bradley Magic Toast. So EKB has been busting our chops to smoke this again. He actually really enjoys it. Cigar Hound Dog and myself, we did not have a pleasurable first experience with it. So I bought another one EKB, I promise. I'm gonna give it a fair, fair shot and throw it on the channel. Cause originally I smoked it at one of my local brick and mortars and I said, you know what? That, that doesn't even need to be on the channel. I give it another shot. The Pilon Anejo by CAO. So I saw this next to the Amazon Basin Anejo. And I picked up both just because, just because the Basin was so good. I had to, you know, shout out to ZR Cigars and Zohar. This is La Caleta. This is the black label trading company Morphine. The Petite Lancero, yeah, right? And then the other two I believe are from Cigar Hound Dog as well. This is the Tetuaje Brown Label Reserva. Classic OG, I believe that's in Unicos format and then the Hemingway masterpiece right in Maduro so in closing I mean that's not that's not exactly 250 cigars but I also have you know individual packs and singles in the drawer and no boxes per se just like packages in there. So uh, between what Cigar Hound Dog has sent in, Sean T, various retailers, wholesalers uh, that I've bought from, and then also cigar brands, um, Kevin, uh, Want That Smoke, every, you know, um, everybody, uh, Tommy, you know, um, all the all the wonderful people out there that have sent in submissions and whatnot. So this humidor is available 10% off. And um, I was watching a couple of other reviews from other YouTubers, Cigar Prop talked a little bit about how there is a non-heating and cooling model that is, I think instead of being 600 bucks plus tax, it's 400 bucks plus tax. So I'm not sure if the coupon code is just good for this model, but you can try it out at the store and see you know, if it's, if it is available, new air is very easy to find online. And like I said, coupon code down below 10% off master your ash. Thank you all so much for liking, commenting, subscribing, and continuing to grow the community here. Follow us on rumble just in case something ever happens. YouTube decides to take down the page or whatever. Never know what's going to happen as far as how crazy cigar rights are right now. And trying to just continue to increase our voice and our presence online. So thank you all so much once again for liking, commenting, subscribing, continuing to grow the community. And I look forward to catching you again for another humidor review slash tour.